hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is afolabi Anrela, and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back and today is going to be the first video of the year <laughs> i am super 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 excited this year i'm having a different direction for my youtube channel that is why i'm going to be starting this video with a video i'm supposed to have started this channel with that is get to know me love me or you hate me no me so guys let's get into the video of today i'm going to be giving you guys some things that if you get to know about me you would definitely love me so just for you to know these questions were not sent to me by anybody i'm not a celebrity yet so i created these questions myself and then some of it my friends asked me and the first question here is what is my full name i'm a yoruba girl and we have plenty plenty beautiful names maybe because i'm the second born they gave me just five or six names and i'm going to be telling you guys everything afolabi is my surname then i have mariam which is my first name my islamic name then ariola which is middle of wealth then uluwa kemi which is um god favored me and then Irene Kemi, which is my um I don't know should i call it a cultural name or something i actually think that i have five names i cannot remember the last one if you're a nigerian you should know this like five years ago i happened to see this naming ceremony card of mine that was even when i got to know that my name was oluwa kemi so like you know <laughs> i never knew and i think there is still another oluwa something which i totally totally do not remember but those are my names afolabi Ariola, oluwa kemi mariam Ainke. five names yeah the next question is what made me want to be a youtuber money <laughs> okay let's be serious guys i really really love to talk and to be sincere with you i'm a good advisor i have many friends that ask me for advice like they take my advice very seriously meanwhile i'm not going to tell you to take my advice or not i'm just going to tell you what i am going to do if i'm also in your situation so you get that kind of thing so i love to talk a lot and i talk meaningfully like i know that i have sense so i just started that let me just have this channel i'm just going to showcase the entirety of me like my reality this is me this is not me for me anything this is the pure real me if you get to know me this is me entirely so yeah the next question is how old am i mm, i'm 26 okay i'm not 26 years i'm 25 and a half <laughs> i'll be 26 in april i know i don't look it black don't crack <laughs> how tall am i is the next question i am um 1.65 meters that's like around 56 i think but i think i'm taller than that because somebody that is just like this taller than me said he's 5'10 so how will i be 5'6 and you're 5'10 make it make sense but anyways i'm going to go back to check my height so maybe i'm going to update you guys in the comment video how did i grow up and how was my childhood is the next question guys i grew up in kaduna state kaduna state nigeria a beautiful beautiful state if not for the fact that the insecurity in the north is becoming alarming that is the best state in the whole of nigeria for me my childhood was marvelous i was brought up with love from both parents my dad my mom it was filled with love love from my siblings love from everybody neighbors you know i grew up in that environment where a neighbor can scold a child for doing wrong i grew up with love from so many angles the whole of the neighborhood raised me so i'm that child of the entire society i was not just raised by my parents the next question is favorite movie and i've said this a thousand and one times i watch movies just to relax so i probably do not have a favorite movie and I can actually say Titanic is my favorite movie because it's a movie that I can watch thousands of times. I've watched it tens of times. I can't remember the number of times I've watched it. But it's a movie that I love. And specifically, I love love movies. I'm a chronic lover. <laughs> I'm a lover girl. I, I love love. So once it's a love movie, I'm in love with it. I'm going to watch it. And if there's anything like real life movies, like, you know, movies that have been acted based on the real life experience, I love those they are chef kiss favorite music and favorite musician guys i'm the worst you can ask that question but i used to like rag and bone and i don't listen to much of his music now again i don't know why i just maybe floated out of it but i still have it on my phone and i still listen to it once in a while but there was a time i was addicted addicted to his music let's come back to nigeria i love king daniel's music i love david doe especially and i love love rihanna but rihanna has been doing whatever she wants to do they not be giving us music these days but what can i do I'm a fine girl <laughs> next question is pet peeves what are my pet peeves my pet peeve is cheating i don't like people that cheat i do not like people that cheat i don't want to seem very serious in this video but i do not like people that cheat on their partners you can as well just stay single you know just 
don't date anybody don't break anybody's heart what do you mean like uh, another thing is playfully abusing people i do not take that see you cannot tell me i'm stupid you cannot call me idiot i don't do that no 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 when i was growing up in my house it was not allowed for you to abuse anybody maybe you're joking or you're being serious you're not allowed to abuse anybody so maybe that's what is part of me right now when, whenever i hear people abuse each other i'm like no 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 this does not sound right to me in my house when i was growing up if you tell somebody yare you put no me of yare like your mother you're going to explain to my dad for hours you're going to apologize you're going to sit down and hear him advise you so we don't do that in my house it's prohibited that's why maybe when i hear people do that it just sound of just kind of sound very awkward to me especially when i see lovers do that like why what type of play is that don't play that kind of play with me when i'm around you please don't don't do it don't do it to me maybe if you guys are already used to it you can do it to each other but please don't do it to me how many piercings and tattoos <laughs> you want me to have tattoos in my nigerian mother's house well i don't have any tattoo i really really love it though and i'm thinking of th of having maybe just a little bit of inscription or something here around this part but for now i do not have any tattoo and for piercings i only have the ones that my mother gave to me so yeah i once pierced my ear but my mom asked me to remove it immediately you should know the kind of house i grew up in like if you have to do something you have to ask for permission if you don't ask for permission you're going to undo that thing so my mom just said that i pierced my ear without telling her she asked me to remove it and now it's sealed up will i ever have another piercing well i do not know for now i'm thinking of having a piercing here you know those ones that they used to do here but for now i do not know nose no i never want to pierce my nose where do i live as of now i live in ibadan i am actually a student of university of ibadan right now so i live in ibadan and even after my master's studies i will probably still stay back in ibadan i think it has potential for my job opportunity so if i'm to compare where i grew up and where i'm staying right now which one do i prefer to be sincere with you guys i will always love where i grew up because of the love i i get from that place it's a beautiful beautiful place love from my parents love from the neighbors everybody but right now i think because of the fact that i love to be independent i love to be the uh, maker of my own decision like that's why i'm loving it right here but it's expensive not staying with your parents it is very 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 expensive like this adulthood is not the way they told me it was like they lied to me guys <laughs> my biggest insecurities as of right now i do not have any insecurities i've dealt with all of my insecurities and i'm super super proud of myself i'm so happy for myself for the fact that i've been able to you know do this by myself for myself but it used to be my forehead i really hated my forehead i hated it with passion i said this on this channel like millions of times i hated my forehead but right now <laughs> if it's possible i start my scarf from this place i'm going to start it from there but it took a long time it was not an easy one it was not at the snap of a finger but i really love the fact that i'm where i am right now in terms of my insecurity and also my teeth formation is part of my insecurity but right now baby girl is a perfect condition like i'm in the most perfect shape size height everything my feature is perfect perfect too well something that i'm trying to just you know manage right now is just my stomach it's not an insecurity for me i will wear anything i want to wear but just something i just want to do for myself just for me to look into the mirror and be like ah, who is this perfect you know that kind of thing that's the only reason why i want to just work on my stomach and also my ties just look fine fit and also for my health what did i study and what am i studying okay i am studying msc right now in human nutrition but i have a bsc in biochemistry total total waste of time hmm. just hard for nothing you cannot even use it to work in nigeria like what type of thing is that anyways i am loving loving this master's degree in nutrition if i had uh, a prior knowledge of nutrition before my bsc i'll probably have a bsc in nutrition guys it is super super interesting i know what i'm being taught like i can apply what i'm being taught i understand what i'm being taught i can explain it to somebody else when i was in biochemistry i really understood what i was doing because i was cramming but now it's different i can i can tell you what i'm being taught in school i can apply it to you when you ask me a question if, if you tell me to recommend a diet to you i can do something when i was in when i was in my biochemistry i can just tell you maybe the structure of the glucose i can tell you blah 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 i can tell you this i can tell you that i can carry a pathway but i cannot even apply it to real life who is my biggest role model <laughs> The biggest role model is my mom. That woman is strong. Oh my god, that woman is strong. That woman is strength. She's the definition of strength. 
definition of never giving up she's fierce she's beautiful my mom is beautiful more beautiful than i am i know i'm beautiful yes my mom is my mom is definition of beauty my mom is a beauty she's really really very beautiful and she's hard working she never gives up i learned that from her i really really learned that from her and i'm very proud of myself that i learned that from her and she's independent and she plans well and i'm trying to learn that from her my mom is a planner she's an executor when she says she's planned this she's going to execute it guys she'll put it in place she's my greatest role model and then my dad too learning to take one step at a time learning to be convinced with yourself learning to know what you can do knowing your potentials like really my dad is a role model in that aspect like it's 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 a gift my dad is uh, a gentleman and he knows when to talk the next question is am i in a relationship and i know he's my nosy ass friend that asked me this particular question am i in a relationship i'm in a relationship i'm in a relationship very sweet one a very very sweet and interesting one i'm happy i beg <laughs> what time do i go to bed i don't have a time for going to bed but i go to bed after 12. But I'm working on it this year. I'm going to go to bed 9 to 10 p.m. by the grace of God this year. What are my favorite values in friends? I like friends that are there. You know when they say a friend in need is a friend indeed. That is my definition of friendship. Like you have to be there. You don't have to be there every day. No, 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 no. But when you are needed, you have to be there. That's my definition of friendship. And that's the rule I work with so i love friends that are there when they are needed i have two questions left and the next one is what is my best trait my best trait is, is the fact that i'm able to not lie except i want to lie to you i'm not scared of you i usually do not lie whenever i lie I just let me be to my mom and i like my mom because you know now like just you know that kind of mother child kind of thing because i respect her yes i don't want to say some things to her like that or maybe when she sends me on an errand and i do not do it i just like to say i've done it so i'm going to do it later on and yeah my last question is what's my favorite holiday sport i've not traveled out of nigeria guys i've not left nigeria but i'm sure this year i'm going to leave nigeria even if it is cotono day i'm going to go to my favorite location for vacation is going to be greece i do not know what i lost in greece but i have to go to greece to find it and lebanon lebanon has been ringing everywhere on the internet right now it's beautiful so also lebanon is part of my vacation spot right now that i'm going to be looking forward to but for this year i'm going to be going to kotono and ghana by god's grace amen and i'm going to be vlogging that for you guys to see all right guys now i've finished the get to know me part of this video let me just tell you guys how my um channel is going to be henceforth i'm trying to create a niche for myself yes as you guys have heard i was advised by so many people to have a particular niche and post regularly for that niche so that's what i'm going to be doing in this year it's not going to be just random stuff anymore as i used to do before it's going to be just set development and in my 20s series so i'm going to be posting those videos two to three times in a week and i'm going to be posting a vlog every fortnight that is twice in a month or if the if i have so many things to do in a week i can post it once every week that is going to be for my channel right from now until the end of this year but maybe if god should bless me very quickly and you know it just makes my channel just spring up the way it does for every other person and i'll be grateful if you should remember me then we can tend to add other things but as for now that's what we're going to be doing on this channel we're going to try to grow this channel to where i want it to be this year is that year for me it is that year i know i can see it i can see it everywhere is that year for me and i'm putting in the effort like just imagine i'm not filming in my house right now i'm filming outside and i'm talking freely that is marvelous because i have never thought of doing that before i'm also i'm also a very very shy person whenever i'm talking and people are looking at me but there are tens of people behind me right here and i'm just talking here just having fun i'm just making my video which is very very encouraging anyways guys i will see you in my next video please subscribe to my channel like my videos and yeah let's see you guys in the next one